Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see uh, one more uh, disk scheduling algorithm that is a C look C look disk scheduling algorithm. So in our previous session, we have seen uh, many disk scheduling algorithms like uh, FCFS, SSTF, scan, C scan, and look scheduling. And now we'll see the C lookup, C look disk scheduling. So here the C look scheduling means circular look, circular look scheduling algorithm circular look scheduling algorithm so this work similar to the c scan so works similar to c scan which is a circular scan so here also it will start from the current head position it will be moving towards one direction processing all the request whenever it reaches to the last request not the last track whenever it reaches to the last request in that direction immediately it will be moving towards the lowest request in another direction okay so previously look automatically whenever it reaches to the last request it will start reversing and it will process all the requests during the reversing to the lowest track lowest track or lowest request but here directly whenever it reaches to the highest request or highest track okay the highest track immediately it will again start from the lowest track processing all the requests towards that one direction so that means it will also process uh, the request in one direction first so initially it starts with current head position current head position okay it will start from the current head position and it processes the request processes the request in one direction in one direction so usually it will be in the forward direction okay so whenever it processes the last request the last request then it moves back and starts processing from lowest request so during the reverse process it doesn't process any request okay so once it reaches to the maximum track immediately it will start from the lowest track again so the read write head comes to the lowest track immediately so during this movement it doesn't process any request so to the lowest track so here uh, let me explain you this one so current head position is 100 so from 100 it moves towards a single direction that is a forward usually a forward process so 160 so from 160 it moves towards sorry it is 150 150 it moves towards a 160 and it moves towards 160 to 184 and immediately after going to 184 what happens directly it will go to the lowest request okay so in look disk scheduling it immediately start processing the request in the reverse direction but it doesn't process the request in the reverse direction again it will start from the lowest request what is the lowest request here 18 so immediately it will move towards 18 after 18 again it moves to the forward direction after 18 it will be 38 after 38 it will be 39 after 39 it will be 55 and after 55 it will be 58 after 50, 58 it will be 90 so this is the process how the request will be processed in c look disk scheduling algorithm which is a circular look disk scheduling algorithm okay so let us uh, draw this one so it will start from 100 so the first position will be 100 and then immediately 150 the request 2 will be 150 so it will start with 150 
and then 160 immediately the third request will be 160 so it, it was moving in one direction right so request 3 and then 184 r4 will be 184 so here it will be 184 immediately after coming to the uh, 184 it doesn't reverse the process but it will come from the lowest it will start from the lowest so then immediately it comes with a 18 so r5 will be 18 itself so directly the read write head will be from the this position 18 and then 38 and then 39 then 55 58 and uh, 90 so 90 means it star it goes to here 90 so how it starts so it will be starting in one direction and immediately it will start from the lowest request so this is this is how the the request will be processed okay coming to the c scan what happens see in the c scan after reaching to the last request it will move towards the i mean last track okay so that means after 184 it the read write head will be moved to 199 and after 199 it will come back to zero and again it will start processing the request but here here also the unnecessary movement of read write head will be avoided so whenever the read write head reaches to 184 immediately it will come back to the lowest request okay lowest request which is a 18 right so this is how the disk scheduling algorithm works that means uh, circular circular loop disk scheduling algorithm so here also you can find the seek time so so what is the seek time here so obviously the seek time will be uh, somewhat more uh, than loop scheduling algorithm and automatically that will be efficient for efficient than hcfs algorithm so seek time I'll write so that you can calculate and you can check or compare. Seek time. So first position is 100. 100 to, to the read write head moves with 150. So the difference is a 50. And that means here 50 means the read write track. Uh, sorry, read write head moves 50 tracks. Okay. So the next one 150 to 160. So it moves 10 tracks. And 160 to 184. That means it moves around 24 tracks and 184 to almost 18 so that means 166 it moves 166 tracks back okay then 18 to how much why to 38 so 20 20 tracks 38 to 39 so one track 39 to 55 16 tracks 55 to 58 3 tracks 58 to 90 32 tracks so if you add all these things we'll be getting the seek time and you can compare so seek time will be less when compared to fcfs okay and uh, the advantage is reducing the read write head movement unnecessary of read write head movement read write head movement so similar to look list uh, look disk scheduling algorithm okay so here among all these things what we have seen fcfs sttf uh, seek time shortest to seek time sstf scan c scan look silk so all these are the sh disk scheduling algorithms so among that so which one is having less seek time and no starvation so starvation means the request will be keep on waiting to complete its process okay so less seek time and no starvation will be the efficient algorithm efficient disk scheduling algorithm efficient disk scheduling algorithm 
so less seat time it should be having the less seat time and as well as there should be no starvation right so if anything is here in this way automatically that we are calling it as a efficient disk scheduling algorithms right so i'll stop here and hope you understood this one and if you are having any queries regarding this feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much